everyone. Good evening. Uh, it's good to see you and thank you for watching my video. Uh, so today I'm going to show you my candle collection or um, my family's candle collection. They're not just mine. We have a lot of candles that we've been collecting over the years. And yeah, I thought I would show you and um, tap on them and show them to you and talk about them. I wish you could smell them. <laughs> that would be a full experience. Um, I'll smell them for you and describe them. So I hope you enjoy. And let's just get right into it. Okay. The first candle is this red one because it matches my red hoodie. This is not a hoodie, there's no hood on it. Red sweatshirt. And I wanna tell you the brand, but there's literally no label. Mystery candle. See the bottom one? It says, it has like the original sticker, but then in orange here. The resale sticker where we got it for cheaper price from Ollie's. Maybe you've heard of Ollie's, maybe you haven't if um, there's no Ollie's where you live. We just got Ollie's in my hometown here and they sell some things somehow like for much cheaper than retail prices. I'm not sure how but you can get really cheap stuff there. Uh, this candle says originally it was $13.99 and Ollie's sold it for $7.99. I really want to know what brand it is. I don't know why they would take off brand. Maybe I can peel it. Let's see, I'm so curious. Candle Company. Okay, so it's by Yankee, I guess. Oh wow. I wonder why they would take off the Yankee label. Because I think Yankee Candle is one of the most, like, popular or expensive ones, so... Hmm. Anyway. Shall we smell it? Because I have no clue what the scent is. smell it. It's very strong. I really like the sound of glass. It kind of sounds like um, if sparkles had a sound, you know, like twinkling sparkle visual stuff, if it had a sound, it sounds like glass. like what I imagined stars would sound like. It's like... Anyway. So... It looks like this candle has been burned before because the wick is burnt. I don't know how to describe this. I was imagining that it would be like cinnamon because it's red. Or maybe like apples. Mm. I don't think I like it. <laughs> maybe that's why we haven't used it much. It kind of smells like... Oh gosh. I don't know. I have 
have no words for this. If I had to rate it out of 10, I would give it 5.5. That's being generous. Yeah, I guess there's a reason why we didn't burn this. I'm trying to look for the name of the scent. I usually have it here, but I can't find it. Mystery red candle. <laughs> That's enough of the mystery red candle. So let's go to the next one. Here is our next beautiful candle. And yay, this one actually has a label on it. So we don't have to guess. This is Chesapeake Bay Candle Home Scents. And the scent is, can you see that? Sea salt vanilla. That's interesting. I feel like salt doesn't usually go with vanilla. It's more like salted caramel or something. So let's see how this one smells. Um, I don't remember ever seeing this one. It seems pretty new. I think my parents must have purchased this while I was away at university sometime over the past three years. I'm really enjoying this lid. I hope you are too. Do you think this is metal? It looks shiny like metal, but it's not very hard. Maybe like a metal coating. Plastic or something. Mm. Okay, let's take off the lid. sun is strong. Wow. You can already smell it. Okay. Let's see. Mm. I'm not really getting any vanilla, but it's nice. Definitely better than the previous candle. Do you want to see the inside? It's a really nice light, like sea foam color. And if I read the back of this, read the back of this to you. It says, manufactured by Chesapeake Bay Candle, Glen Burnie, MD, USA. I don't know who that is. Chesapeake Bay Candle, sea salt vanilla. Sea salt vanilla. And it has like a serial number. It says poured in USA. The jar was made in Mexico, and the lid was made in China. That's interesting. Different parts were made in different places. Mm -hmm. Warning. To prevent fire, burn within sight. Keep away from things that catch fire. Keep away from children and pets. It's a nice summery smell, and I really like the color of it. I think the scent matches the color. Next candle! Let's see. Ah, this one. 
So there's no label across it. I'm starting to think that the ones without labels is because my mom took the labels off. Because this has her handwriting on the bottom, catching rays. I guess she wanted to remember the title of the scent. As you can see, this one has been used a lot. And the top of the glass is burnt from burning the candle. like sunshine. Wow. Ooh. This is like when you get out of the pool and it's kind of cold. So you get like a fluffy towel. A freshly washed fluffy towel to dry off and keep warm with. This is what it smells like. Fresh laundry in summertime. This is nice. Oh, I just keep smelling it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm afraid if I smell too many things, it's all gonna start smelling the same. It hasn't happened yet, but I'll keep going. Yankee Candle. I got Yankee Candle. Must have been expensive. If I ever buy a candle, um, out of my own interest or liking for myself, I never buy Yankee Candle unless it's on sale at TJ Maxx or something. They're just so expensive. Do you all shop at TJ Maxx? I shop there for like birthday gifts because you can find some unique items and that's always pretty cheap. Yes, I am cheap, I admit. This one was Catching Rays, and if I'm going to rate it out of 10, 7.5. We're going up with each candle. Ooh. Very, very fresh. Very spring. Right now, I think it's still technically spring. You know, it feels like summer for me. It's very hot where I live right now. And my semester just ended, so I'm technically on summer break. But it's not summer yet. This candle is by Yankee, Yankee Candle. And it's called April Showers. April Showers. And yeah, it looks like it hasn't been um, lit that much, used that much. I really like the lid on this one. It looks like a little hat. <laughs> the candle has a hat. I love it. I have a story that goes along with this candle and another one that I will pick next. When I was in high school a few years back, um, I was part of the math team. Yes, I'm a nerd, I don't care. And <laughs> we would do competitions, and obviously it costs money. Um, and then we would also host a competition each year, which was also apparently expensive for the school to pay for. 
Um, so we do fundraisers, and one of them every year we would do the Yankee Candle fundraiser. So we would have, um, or they would give the students, the members of the math team, a Yankee Candle catalog. And we were supposed to bring it around and like show our family members and our grandparents and our neighbors and try to get people to buy candles in like a certain percentage of um, the price that they paid for the candles would go back to my math team <laughs> to sponsor us. <laughs> so, as you can guess where I'm going here, this candle came from um, that catalog to sponsor my math team. So I brought home the catalog and I showed it to my mom. She bought two candles. Two candles. And she ordered them and about a month later all the candles came in and we were supposed to go by a teacher's classroom to pick them up. And I forgot about it, and then my mom kept asking me, like, where's my candles, where's my candles? And I was like, oh yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that. But then so much time went by, I'm telling you, like, months later, I was too embarrassed to go to buy the teacher's classroom and say, hey, can I get the candles? Because it was, like, months later, it was embarrassing. And I just kept procrastinating it. My mom was getting more upset with me. Cause she's like, I paid so much money for those Yankee candles. And so I never picked them up for the entire school year. And then the next year, I actually ended up having this math teacher as my, my teacher for my classes. So this is like one year later, I go into his classroom and I'm sitting there. I look up in the corner and there's this box, these two little boxes up on the shelf. And I kind of like walk over and look and they have my name on them. And it was the candles that were still sitting there one year later. And I looked left and right to make sure no one was watching. I just like took them. <laughs> and I brought them home and at that point my mom had given up. She just forgot about them. Anyway, long story. We ended up getting the candles, and this is one of them. <laughs> A year delayed. Uh, let's open it. Mmm. Ooh, that's a very, like, sharp scent. Very sharp. I don't know if I like it. Ooh. That one's a little bit strong for me. It's sweet, but then has like a very sharp, like almost citrusy sour undertone to it. Hmm. I like the color a lot, but I'm going to rate this scent six. And that is April Showers by Yankee Candy. see who's next. I think we should do the other candle from my math team fundraiser is this one. Another Yankee candle. And this one is called Beach Walk. Beach Walk. I think this color is also very beautiful. Really nice. They go well together. I think that's why my mom picked them. Because the colors look so pretty together. <laughs> I just realized that's kind of a weird concept. I brought around a catalog of candles for people to buy, but they couldn't even smell them, and that's the whole purpose. <laughs> Beach walk. Let's see how it smells. And again, this one has a cute little hat. Mmm, the 
this is refreshing. It's very relaxing. I feel like this is something that would be lit in a spa. Like a nice relaxing spa. I like this one. Oh, I give it an 8. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. The color is so beautiful. Beach Walk by Yankee Candle. I recommend this one. It's a really nice summery but relaxing scent. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say about that one. Good. Okay, let me put that back on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's do. A short but wide and round candle like this one. The shape is interesting. Oh, it makes a really nice sound. Wow. This candle is actually Christmas themed, but it doesn't smell very Christmassy, so we kind of had it sitting out all year round. It's called Tis the Season, Tis the Season, and it has a, oh my goodness, what is this flower called? I know it's like a wintry holiday Christmas time flower, what are these called? Shoot. Well, if I think about it, if I remember it, I'll let you know, but I can't remember what this is called. Anyway, the brand is White Barn. White Barn Candles. Tis the season. I think my brother gave this one to my mom for Christmas. <laughs> it was twenty four fifty. That's not cheap. Wow. And it says on the back, fragrance notes are red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. Literally, it's opening it that quarter, like quarter of an inch, like that, for half a second. Oh, the whiff like hits my nose. Oh my goodness. This one is so strong. That's why we never like burned it or even opened it because the whole room would just smell like this. Oh gosh. It's a really nice smell. Three wicks. Really nice smell, but it's very strong. Very strong. I like the candles with three wicks like this. One, two, three. Oh, I got some black on my finger. Shoot. Eat ashes or something. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> would be like an 8.2 if it weren't so overwhelming. Because if it's so strong now, imagine how strong it is when you light it. Yeah. It is the same. Let's see. This 
one is next. There's no lid on it, so I could just smell it. I've smelled this one a lot before because it's just sitting out on our kitchen table. And it's called Summer Storm. It does not smell like a summer storm, I'll tell you that. It smells kind of like cologne. It's definitely more of a musky smell. Musky. It's not fresh or sweet or floral at all. It's quite different from the other ones that I've been smelling. Mmm. Definitely. Yeah, it does smell like... When I say men's cologne, it's not like Axe or like Old Spice. <laughs> but it reminds me of like an older man's cologne. It's not a bad smell, it's just not something that I would choose for myself. It's very tall. And I like this color though. What would you call this color? It's kind of like a scarlet maroon. It's lighter than maroon, but it's like red with some orangey brown in it. started I have to finish reading all of them. This one mm, mm, 6.8 6.8 for storm night. No, summer storm, my bad. Okay. Mm, well, let's do this one. My hair is doing something. I don't know what. I'll tell you the reason I keep um, going like this and trying to move my hair out of the way. When my hair touches this little microphone here, it makes a loud, like, psh, 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 ruffly noise. So I try to avoid that. I learned the hard way. I recorded an entire, like, 45 minute video with my hair down. I played it back to like listen and edit it, and the whole time it was ruined with the sounds of my hair. So I decided to wear it kind of down today, but I'm being very conscious of it. I hope it didn't mess up any part of the video, and I didn't notice or something. We'll see. This candle, oh my god, this candle's been through it, look at this. It's been burnt down and kind of messy. You, I'll show you the inside, it's even messier. And there's no label on it. I guess my mom has this weird thing with labels. She did that with this candle too, there's no label. <laughs> she doesn't like them, I guess. But this is also a Yankee candle. Yankee candle. As are most of the candles that my mom likes to purchase. has this metallic like lid again. And the bottom of it says this is called Beach Walk. What? Beach Walk? Don't we? Beach Walk was. Didn't we look at a Beach Walk before? Is this one Beach Walk? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Are these the same? They don't look the same, do they? Yankee can. This one's very old. This one is not so old. So maybe because it's been burnt so much, the color got dirty. This one's odd. It looks totally different. Smell it. Yeah, it does smell like a burnt version of Beach Walk. That one. It smells very burnt. Look at all like the wicks. Can you see? 
the wick that's been like broken off. I feel like I can't read this because it just smells burnt. <laughs> this candle has seen the last of its days, I would say. Sorry, candle. I think you're done. You served your purpose, thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll just do a few more. What do you think should we do? Let's do the biggest one. Oh, it's heavy. And this one is round and with multiple wicks inside, like um, one of the previous ones. And it's called Family. Family by Haven Street Candle Company. Oh, maybe it's not called Family. I don't know. Family, and then it says Sugared Vanilla Beans. So it's either called sugar vanilla beans or family. I guess it's called family and it smells like sugar vanilla beans because that's what family smells like, right? Oh, I am loving this plant. Well, before I open it, I'll say I love the design. nice flowers on it. Looks like it hasn't been burned. We'll see. Okay, let's open. Oh my god. <laughs> That's sweet. It smells exactly like, what does this say? Sugared vanilla beans. It smells just like that. Like super sweet vanilla. Very sweet. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Three wicks again. Three wicks. And it has been burned a little bit. It's not like too strong in general. It's just because I put my face in it. And I wasn't expecting it to be so sweet. Now that I smell it again from a distance, I like it. This isn't too bad. Yeah. It's very warm. It smells kind of like sugar cookies. I can see how you would get tired of this scent, maybe, very easily. You don't want to burn it all the time. You might get tired of smelling the sweet, sweet smell all the time. But on occasion, I think this would be a nice candle. So we'll give it, let's give it an eight. Eight. Once again, tied, tied for the highest um, rating record so far. I think it was Beach Walk that we gave an eight to as well. I've never heard of Haven Street Candle Company. I don't know where this one was from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost time to say goodnight and goodbye, but I think we'll do one more because I'm having fun. <laughs> um, let's end with holiday themed one because I really like this lid this is winter candy apple winter candy apple winter candy apple we started with a red one and we're ending with another red one smell it through the jar. 
I really like this one. I know how this smells because as you can see, we've used it a lot through, um, throughout the years, around the holiday season. I smell it and it gives me memories. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm gonna give this one the highest rating of 8.8. 8.8. That is what we rated. No one got a 10 or even a 9. 8.8, that's really good for me. Oh my goodness, this was $24.50. That's crazy. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed going through the candle collection with me. And believe it or not, this is just a small fraction of all the candles that we really have. I have more laying over there, but I thought I don't want this video to be too long. Maybe I'll do a part two if people like this. Alright, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for watching, and have sweet dreams.